Hello my dear students good morning today once again i'm going to teach you class 6th english grammar you can see on your screen this is the class 6th english grammar and now today i will start your chapter number 11 that is conjunction as you can see on your screen this is the class 6th english grammar and the chapter number 11 and today you will study about the conjunctions okay so let's proceed and we will understood very for the definition of the conjunction that what is conjunction in detail so listen now very carefully so that you have no any doubt about conjunction in your mind and from today you will understood this topic thoroughly what is conjunction so let's come here conjunctions are words listen very carefully conjunctions are words which join two or more words which join two or more words group of words phrases or sentences they are also used to make the sentence more compact so what is the meaning what is the over here what is still told about the conjunction so listen conjunctions are words which join two or more than two words to samajhna ye hai ki conjunction ko aapne agar dekha hoga dhyan se to inhe joining word kaha jata hai what it is called joining word so what is the meaning of joining word about conjunction because just now the words that always join two words or sentences or phrases as you can see in the examples also as you can in the definition also so conjunction so remember sometimes the word conjunction came in front you just think that conjunction are the word that join two words or sentences sometimes okay so they are the words that always join words are sentences but what is the work of conjunction they join so joining word you will keep in your mind about the conjunction so after that let's proceed on definition you can see conjunctions are words conjunctions are words which join two or more words which join two or more words ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स यानी दो या दो से दो ग्रुप दो या दो से अधिक वर्ड्स को ज्वाइन करते हैं या ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स को ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स आल्सो दे वर ज्वाइंट एंड फ्रेजेज आर सेंटेंसेस इट मींस दे ज्वाइन फोर थिंग्स यू कैन से ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स टू वर्ड्स ओके टू आर मोर देन टू वर्ड्स ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स फ्रेजेज एंड सेंटेंसेस दे आर ऑल ज्वाइंट बाय conjunction next they are also used to make sentences they are always used to make sentences more compact what is the meaning of more compact over here one minute what is the meaning of more compact yani do sentences ko jo do bade bade sentences hote hain unko hum join karke compact bana dete hain sankshipt bana dete hain okay so let's come over here and see you can say two and two make Four, two and two. Over here you have seen that two and two are the two words that you are joining. So here you are adding which ko karna hai? Words ko add karna hai. Two and two make four. Okay, good. Next, next point you will see. Next word you will see that you can say <clears throat> one minute. You can say Seema and Rani are sisters. So here you have two words joda ja raha hai. Seema and Rani are sisters. In this way, you will see that conjunctions are the joining words because they always join two words or sentences or group of words or phrases. Okay. So after that, you will see coordinating conjunction. So you know it is uh, in your book that is. You know, I am going to tell you that if you want to know the kinds of conjunction, so there are two. you can see two kinds of conjunction two kinds of conjunction okay and what are the two kinds they are you can say they are first coordinating coordinating that is written over here so coordinating conjunction that is the first condition you will keep in your mind what is coordinating conjunction now come and see coordinating conjunction so coordinating conjunctions you can see these are 
listen from here these are used to join grammatical words which are of the same class or pattern are equal to each other for example the doctor tried hard to revive the patient but failed these are used to join grammatical words ye we word hain jo do grammatical words ko join karte hain these are used to join grammatical words which are of the same class which are of the same class and who join coordinating conjunction so keep in mind coordinating conjunctions are the conjunctions that are used to join grammatical words which are of the same class or pattern आर इक्वल टू ईच अदर जो क्या होते हैं इक्वल होते हैं किसके इक्वल होते हैं ईच अदर एक दूसरे के यानी कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजक्शन हमेशा उन दो वर्ड्स या दो उन दो सेंटेंसेस को जोड़ता है जो इक्वल रैंक के होते हैं क्या होते हैं क्लास जो इक्वल क्लास के होते हैं सेम क्लास के होते हैं या इक्वल ऑर्डर इक्वल रैंक के होते हैं ऐसे ही सेंटेंसेस को कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजक्शन के द्वारा जोड़ा जाता है ओके सो वंस अगेन यू कैन सी सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टूड एंड यू हैव नो एनी डाउट इन योर माइंड सो लिसन कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजक्शन दीज आर यूज टू ज्वाइन ग्रामेटिकल वर्ड्स विच आर ऑफ द सेम क्लास आर पैटर्न आर इक्वल टू ईच अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड यू कैन सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो so first example the doctor tried hard to revive the patient but failed okay the doctor tried hard to revive the patient but failed he tried very hard to succeed and he did usne bahut koshish ki pass hone ki aur woh pass bhi kiya he did so he tried very hard to succeed okay he tried very hard to succeed and he did so these are and and you will you will understood that what are the main coordinating conjunctions what are the main coordinating conjunctions they are and but or not neither for till it these are the important you can say coordinating conjunctions that has importance in your grammar so now you will learn all these coordinating conjunction what are the main coordinating conjunction and but are nor neither for till still and eight these are the important coordinating conjunction as in, after that you know there is a, an example given so that you can feel it and you can understand so i have filled it already so you can see and you will feel all these in your example also i read it so that you can understand that how they are joined and you know they are the same pattern are equal are same class so you can say fill in the blanks with coordinating conjunctions you can see over here fill in the blanks with coordinating conjunctions example number first is already solved you can see in your book anita likes both anita likes both tea and coffee so this is the first example you can say this is already a solved example that is given in your book over here the main point that you should understand because you know all these are the coordinating conjunctions all these are the list that is given over here this is the list of coordinating conjunction and in all these examples as you are seeing in all these examples you will filled with coordinating conjunction also and first is already solved anita likes both anita likes both tea and coffee next the cat jumped on the mouse but the mouse escaped okay the cat jumped on the mouse but the mouse escaped next i called him but he did not pick up the phone maine usse kai baar call kiya lekin usne phone ko pick up nahi kiya so this is these are the examples next i called him but he did not pick up the phone so this is the first this is the second and third example deepak shouted for help deepak shouted for help but nobody helped him next most children like 
biscuits most children like biscuits and milk so over here you have seen and okay next you can say arjun may be in the room arjun may be in the room or on the roof arjun may be in the room or on the roof next bridges may come by bus or car bridges may come woh aa sakta hai by bus or car it means he has two options he can come by bus also and he can he can come by car also next chandan become ill chandan become ill for he thought he should go to what is written to doctor so you can see over here chandan become ill chandan become ill for he thought he should go to a doctor and point number 8 farid wants to farid wants to become a doctor for he is studying biology so all these are the examples of coordinating conjunctions and you have seen that you have filled all these examples and you have understood about them because you can see very first the list of the coordinating conjunctions here and but are not neither far still eight and after that you have seen that how they are filled also so all these examples that is given of the coordinating conjunctions in this way you will make sentences and you will try to fill over here in your book also after that the next conjunction that you will study that is subordinating conjunctions that is subordinating conjunctions so what is subordinating conjunction now you will try to understand what is subordinating conjunctions so now listen the subordinating conjunctions the conjunctions which introduce the dependent or subordinate clause to the main clause are called subordinating conjunctions so subordinating conjunctions which introduce the dependent or subordinate yani kya ek aisa sentence jo dusre par dependent ho subordinate ho use hum subordinate class karte hain so the conjunctions listen carefully the conjunctions which introduce the dependent or subordinate class to the main class are called subordinating conjunctions abhi aapko samjhate hain ki subordinate class kya hai और मेन क्लास क्या है ओके बिकॉज ओवर हियर मेन क्लास मीन्स दैट इज सुप्रीम दैट इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन अदर बट एन अदर क्लास एन अदर सेंटेंस दैट इज गिवेन दैट इज डिपेंड ऑन द मेन क्लास फॉर देयर सेंस फॉर देयर मीनिंग ओके वन मिनट नाउ लिशन सो आई रीड द पेपर through the example you been understood first once again you see the definition that is given about the subordinate clause so that you can understand so subordinating conjunctions are the conjunctions that always subordinate on others for their sense and for their meaning so how you will understood all these you will understood all these examples to the examples and in detail so the conjunctions which introduce the dependent or subordinate clause the conjunctions which introduce the dependent or subordinate clause to the main clause are called subordinating conjunctions first for example i read the paper because it interests me so listen how it interests me what interests me for this you will read this i read the paper it means over here it is told that यानी एक सेंटेंस जो है क्या इंटरेस्ट करता है उसे ये हमें पता नहीं है लेकिन कुछ है जो उसे इंटरेस्ट करता है सो फॉर दिस यू विल गो ऑन द फर्स्ट पार्ट एंड आई रीड द न्यूज पेपर दिस इज मेन क्लास ओवर यू कैन सी लिखा है ना मेन क्लास सो दिस इज द मेन क्लास इन द सेंटेंस आई रीड द पेपर ये क्या है मेन क्लास है यहाँ पे सबॉर्डिनेटिंग क्लास क्या है सबॉर्डिनेटिंग कंजक्शन क्या है बिकॉज इट इज इट इज या बिकॉज इट इंटरेस्ट मी क्योंकि ये मुझे क्या करता है इंटरेस्ट देता है उसमें इंटरेस्ट है सो दिस इज द रीजन आई रीड द पेपर कहने का मतलब क्या है कि जो दो पार्ट के सेंटेंस होते हैं वह एक पार्ट उसका दूसरे पे डिपेंडेंट होता है दूसरे पे सबॉर्डिनेट होता है फॉर देयर मीनिंग फॉर देयर सेंस कैसे जैसे कह रहा है कि आई रीड द पेपर ये मेन क्लास है ये किसी पे निर्भर नहीं रहता क्योंकि इसका सेंस क्लियर है लेकिन अगर हम कहें बिकॉज इट इंटरेस्ट मी तो क्या इंटरेस्ट करता है ये बात जानने के लिए इसका सेंस जानने के लिए हमें फर्स्ट वाले पार्ट पे जाना पड़ेगा दैट इज आई रीड द पेपर ओके इन दिस वे इट इज कॉल्ड डिपेंडेंट और सबॉर्डिनेट क्लास ओके सो आई रीड द पेपर आई रीड द पेपर बिकॉज इट इंटरेस्ट मी 
next example you can see after the one minute after the what happened wait one minute yes from here after the rain was over the sun shone again the sun shone again this is the main class but over here the sun shone again after the rain was over so suppose if you say that after the rain was over so what happens because for this it is important that you will go on the main class it means because it is not able to give its complete sense without the main class yani ye dependent hota hai apne sense ke liye apne meaning ke liye okay jaise apne kaha ki after the rain was over then suppose agar kisi ne koi bhi vyakti kaha ki after the rain was over jaise hi barish band hogi to kya hoga for this for knowing this for knowing its sense you will go on the first part and what is the first part here the sun shone again suraj phir se dikhega the sun shone again so after the rain was over the sun shone again so in this way you can understood about the subordinating conjunctions also okay after that over here you can see a long list is provided of the subordinating conjunctions also and you will try to understand this over here you can see you can see over here a long list of the subordinating conjunctions so what are the important subordinating conjunctions you can say after okay because if that do till before unless as when where why these are the important subordinating conjunctions that you should understand and whenever you will word when you will hear the word subordinating it means it is dependent on other class for their meaning for their sense okay because this is already dependent dependent matlab apne sense ke liye dusre sentence pe main class pe kya hota hai dependent hota hai jaise aapne example dekha tha okay the same way after that after that you see that these you can say these are subordinating conjunctions after because if that do till before unless as when where why okay next point that you should understand fill in the blanks over here once again uh, you can say a list of examples is provided for you and you will fill them once again okay so you can see the examples that is given over here the first example from here fill in the blanks with the given subordinating conjunctions you have some examples to fill and you will you have a list of subordinating conjunctions also these subordinating conjunctions you will feel in the given examples okay and in this way you will understand and you will use you will learn how to use subordinating conjunctions okay okay so first example you can say ganesh did not go to stadium ganesh did not go to stadium as he was ill ganesh did not go to stadium As he was ill, Ganesh ने क्या किया Stadium नहीं गया As he was ill, जैसा कि वह बीमार था Okay, next। अब कहने का मतलब क्या है कि कैसे depend है कैसे dependent है फिर से एक बार देख लीजिए Ganesh did not went to stadium। यानी अब वह depend ये है कि he was ill। ये आपका main class है एक मिनट ध्यान से देखिए ताकि आपको समझ में आ जाए यहाँ पे he was ill जो दिया है ये क्या है ये main है एक मिनट यहाँ पे ये क्या है मेन क्लास है ही वॉज इल क्या है मेन क्लास अब ही वॉज इल जैसे आप कहेंगे कि गणेश डिड नॉट गो टू स्टेडियम तो क्यों नहीं गया क्यों नहीं गया इस बात को जानने के लिए हमें मेन क्लास पे जाना पड़ेगा कि वह स्टेडियम नहीं गया तो क्यों नहीं गया गणेश डिड नॉट नहीं गया था तो क्यों नहीं गया था गणेश डिड नॉट गो टू स्टेडियम तो आपने देखा कि जैसे आप मेन क्लास के पास जाएंगे वह बताएगा As he was ill, यानी ये जो यहाँ पे ये पार्ट है ये अपने सेंस के लिए इस पार्ट पे डिपेंडेंट है यही बात आपको समझना और डिपेंडेंट है इसलिए कौन सा क्लास हो गया डिपेंडेंट क्लास यानी सब कौन सा क्लास हो गया सब ऑर्डिनेट डिपेंडेंट का मतलब ये होता है सब ऑर्डिनेट ओके नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल यू विल सी ओवर हियर द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम हियर आई विल कॉल मीता आई विल कॉल मीता आफ्टर आई रीच माई होम I I will call Meeta after I reach my home. So you have seen that after. This is subordinating conjunction. Next you can say, I bought some books. I bought 
सम बुक्स बिफोर आई रीच माई ऑफिस बिफोर आई रीच माई ऑफिस आई बॉट सम बुक्स नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सिंस इट वॉज रेनिंग सिंस इट वॉज रेनिंग दे प्लेड एट होम सिंस इट वॉज रेनिंग दे प्लेड एट होम नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल यू कैन से ओवर हियर फोर्थ I have gone to every concert. I have gone to every concert while I lived in London. यानि जब वह लंदन में रहता था, तो I have gone to every concert while I live in London. Fifth, you can see, he passed the magic medical exam. He passed the medical exam with flying colours because. He burned the midnight oil. Burned the midnight oil. This is uh, an idiom, and you know you should understand that burn the midnight oil means to do very hard work, to study very hard. Okay, so he passed the medical exam with flying colors. का मतलब अच्छे मार्क से. With flying colors means अच्छे मार्क से. So he passed the medical exam with flying colors. तो उसने flying colors यानी अच्छे मार्क से exam को pass क्यों किया? इस बात को जानने के लिए हमें इस वाले पार्ट पे जाना पड़ेगा. He burned the midnight oil. उसने खूब परिश्रम किया. So he passed the medical exam with flying colors because he burned the midnight oil. And next next point you can see over here. पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स आई डू नॉट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक टू यू मैं आपसे बात करना नहीं चाहता हूं तो ये डिपेंडेंट है ये इस बात को जानने के लिए कि क्यों बात नहीं करना चाहता है आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक टू यू आल दो यू हैव अपलाइज आपने माफी मांग ली है फिर भी आल दो यू हैव अपलाइज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक टू यू आल दो यू हैव अपलाइज सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप that you have understood about the conjunction that what is conjunction you have seen that conjunction are the words which join two words are more words group of words are phrases or sentences and after that you have two important kind of conjunctions first is coordinating conjunction and after that you have seen the examples also and after that subordinating conjunction and you have seen all the examples so next part that you will study co relative conjunctions in the next video so till here you will try to solve and after that you will study all these conjunctions in detail and you will understand you will try to see that what is conjunction because i have told you already so all these definitions and after that what is conjunction what is coordinating conjunction what is subordinating conjunction you will see the video and suppose you have any problem anywhere in the conjunction you just comment me i will try to tell once again so very first you will go through the videos and study all these point in detail thank you my dear students for seeing this video